I'm showing you how to make All Recipes' top recipe for crab cakes. This recipe calls for about a half a pound of crab meat. I love stretching it out and using a combination of lump crab and then just claw meat. The flavor of the crab is the same. It just depends on what bite size you want. If you want a big chunk of crab, get the lump. Now let's mix it all together. Going in with some mayonnaise. It's gonna act as your binder. It has egg in it, but I'm going in also with some egg. Green onion, tarragon, a little bit of crushed red pepper, a good squeeze of lemon. And then I'm adding a little more seasoning with some salt and pepper. There are probably two big rules when it comes to making crab cakes. The first is not to overmix it. So to prevent that, I'm gonna go ahead and whip all my wet ingredients together before adding in the crab meat so you don't overwork it and you can just gently fold it in. And the next rule is about the filler. You never want more filler than crab meat. We'll get to that in a sec. Got our flavorings well mixed, and now I'm going in with the crab. Gently coat your crab without breaking it apart. And the final ingredient is the breadcrumbs. Now this is what you are going to soak up the remaining moisture that's left after you fold it in the crab. You wanna add just enough to absorb some of that moisture. No more, or you will get yelled at. When it comes to the breadcrumb, you can use literal breadcrumbs. This recipe calls for these buttery good crackers. My mother-in-law always uses saltine crackers. So whatever you want, you just wanna crush these up and you'll see how the cracker crumbs just soak up that remaining moisture. The recipe calls for just butter. I'm also adding in a little oil because I love the combination of both. I'm gonna form these patties really loosely. That way at the end, you've got golden brown chunks of crab that you see throughout the crab cake. If you want a crispier crab cake, you can take your crab mixture and kind of roll it in a little bit of panko breadcrumbs or just more of the cracker crumbs and kind of create a coating on the outside. I'm gonna keep these on natural. Just about four to five minutes on each side until they're golden and crisp on the outside. And of course you want that inside cooked. This is just a great light dinner you can have on the table in less than 30 minutes. You could also make the crab cakes in advance and then just cook them right before you eat. Let's serve it up. I love crab cakes with a roumelade sauce. We have this recipe on site as well. Squeeze a lemon and a sprinkle of onion. The hot skillet with the combination of oil and butter delivers that crispy outside and tender inside. Going in for, you guessed it, the perfect bite. Just look at that, all the crab. I see your top rated recipe. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? 